The Met Office have been keeping records here at the airport since 1947 and the mean temperature across the whole of the month was 26.4 degrees Celsius. That's around 2 degrees above the long term average and 0.4 degrees above uh, the previous records. And it's not just Gibraltar, this is a global trend that we're seeing. Yeah, so uh, we've been talking about uh, heat waves across Europe, North America, Asia over the last few weeks. Uh, and those heat wave conditions across Southern Europe have, have been the reason why we've seen uh, these record breaking temperatures here in Gibraltar. We've reported on quite a few weather and climate change related stories recently. We always get the same comments from a small number of people. This is the climate scam and that we're spreading misinformation. What would you say to that? I mean, I'm a trained meteorologist, I'm just doing my job and I'm reporting the facts and figures that are coming out from the weather station that we've got here at Gibraltar. I've got no reason to make those figures up. It's all coming out of the computer, we're just taking the averages and it's proven that this has been the warmest July on record here in Gibraltar. And we've seen the effects across the globe of these high temperatures over the last few weeks and indeed over the last few years to you know the extreme wildfires in Greece. Um, to the record-breaking temperatures in parts of North America and Asia as well. So we're just reporting what is happening out there. And unfortunately, yes, it is due to uh, global warming and human-induced climate change. And it's now being described as a climate emergency. What does this mean for our children, our grandchildren? Calling it a climate emergency probably just gives it that oomph to allow people to really think about what we're doing and how we're going to make those changes in the next few years and decades to hopefully reduce our impact on the environment. And it's not just you know climate change, it's just looking after the environment that we're living in, not littering, using only what we need, not throwing lots of stuff away, uh, and just, just thinking about those small things we can do day, on, uh, day after day uh, to reduce our impact on the environment. A recent study said that probably the best thing that you can do uh, to help the environment is to reduce your meat consumption. Yes, um, uh, that there's been lots of uh, studies that have uh, shown that reducing meat consumption and having more of a, a plant-based diet uh, does uh, have uh, benefits uh, for uh, greenhouse gas emissions. I myself only eat, uh, I eat a lot less meat than I used to, not just for uh, um, climate change, but also for health reasons as well. It can improve things.